What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? In, in, in. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the What's Up, Everybody podcast here with my co-host, Hope, my co-host, 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 Sweet T, Sweet T. The haircut is awesome, and you brought back the man bun. I mean, it's not a bun yet. It's just more. You get like there. A, it's like a rat. T- it's like a ponytail. Yeah, but like a like a newborn pony. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's not quite, not quite grown out yet. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm you, not going for the full blown pony. Oh, I was about to say. You can't do that. You're not no. my brother. Yeah, no. Can't no, do that. No, no full-grown pone pone here. This is just to get out of my face. <laughs> pone pone, the old pone pone. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Welcome back, man. We missed last week. Busy, man. We were doing all kinds of crazy stuff. You were in Miami. I was. It was fun. Doing what? Uh, Getting slapped by GSP? Yeah. I don't know if you saw that, but I posted that up. That was that that didn't feel good. It was it was between GSP slapping me or Boss Rootin'. Mm-hmm. And Boss Root made it real clear that if he was going to do it, he would really slap me to make like it actually an act. Yeah, make it. That so what way. you're saying is that GSP didn't really slap you. I mean, he slapped. I mean, you heard a pop, but it wasn't like a Boss Root and slap. I mean, have you have you seen him slap people? No. Okay, go back and watch him fight Pancrase. Those are slaps. Pancrase. Pa- no, not pancakes. Pancrase. Oh, sorry, I'm just hungry. Okay, I can tell. You're always hungry, sweetie. Pancakes, that's messed up, dude. Well, what I'm saying is you're, you're losing the weight, which is why you're hungry. You mm-hmm. went from, what, 285 to 276? My man, sweetie. 286 to 276, lost 10 pounds in approximately <laughs> two weeks. Yeah, what up about it? That's good. Can you Will you tell these guys why you're doing this? Why I'm losing weight? Why are you losing weight? I don't want to be super heavy and have, like, no. hurting knees and back and that's stuff. That's not why, guys. He's losing the weight because my man – is going to go through a weight cutting process. A mock weight cut. A mock weight cut. So Don't get excited. It's not because of a fight coming up or anything. Karate combat fight but is what it is. WWB just wants to make me suffer through a fake weight cut. Not to mention, like, hey, if I can lose 20 pounds quick, I'm yeah. in. Well, I mean, if it's a water weight, you're not, <laughs> it's going to come, come back on you. Sweet tea. You're looking like Sweeney out here getting 30 pounds heavier than before. That's right. You ain't trying but, to have that. But – Back to the karate combat. It yeah, was yeah fun. sorry. It was fun. That's okay. So uh, karate combat, um, we signed a contract. I'm one of their senseis, so commentary. Mm-hmm. I'm here to tell, because I grew up doing martial arts. I'm a 6'3 black belt, as you know, in Kenpo Karate. Um, let the fans know while the fights are going on what's happening. So I'm, I'm one of, I'm one of the, the, the senseis. to got to give some feedback to the fighters, some tips here and there. And to let know that let let the watchers know what's going on during the fights. So it'll be me, Boss Rudin, and GSP. That's a squad right there. Yeah, dude. It was a, That's it a karate was. squad. I'm assuming Boss has karate history. Yeah. He's he yeah. I mean, I think he's he's got a black belt. Not really sure what degree of black belt, but you know, they're sitting there. He has his own degree. Yeah. I mean he's got the boss degree. The boss degree. He 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 has earned that. Yeah. He can give himself whatever degree he wants. Yeah. And not this. too many people are going to challenge him for that degree. I'm not. Even though he's like early 50s, I, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, no. Because he's still yoked. Yeah, of course. Jacked. He still has that, I will F you up. Okay, you got to delete that. You. Mm, uh, I, I think you're allowed to say a lot. Can, I, can I say that? F you up? So, yeah. He, he will just, F you up if you cross his path. He can, And he can still do it. Yeah. Maybe you could say he would beep you up. There you go. He will, you have to say the beep part. Okay. He will beep you up. Yeah. We need one of those beepers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that like a software? Like, what is that? Yeah, dude. I think I just got to go in and manually beep every time. Oh, say really? Word, so it just doesn't automatically do it? just that one time. I thought it, like, they have this thing where even if you say, like, like it automatically beeps it. I have no idea. Oh. Probably, I mean, probably. Maybe. You don't cuss a whole lot, so I don't I have don't. to uh, worry about the that. software. I know. <laughs> <laughs> just me beeping is good enough. Yeah. But it was cool out there in Miami, seeing yeah. everybody, seeing the vibe, you know, getting a feel for all their stuff. Definitely cool, right? Home. Definitely home for me, man. It's really cool. A lot of fun. Uh, I know the karate community was excited about it. They were asking, you know, the, the one of the owners, you know, Adam, he said, hey, man, the fans wanted you a part of it. So we made you a part of it. I'm like, yes. That's awesome. Yeah. So it was cool to hang out and to see GSP again. Yeah. I haven't seen, actually, 
seen him in person in several years. So it's cool to just be able to hang out with him again. Mm-hmm. First time to hang out with Boss, though. No, actually, second time I hung out with Boss. First time, it was with uh, me and Chris Weidman. We were at Kevin James' house in Long Island. He's a big, I guess him and Boss are good friends, and we went over to Kevin James' house, hung out there for him a little bit, and Boss was there. Cool, was dude. the second time. Yeah. Boss is a boss. Ricky He's a Ross, boss. bro. I mean, is that his real name, Boss? B A S. He's what? Know. He's what? Dutch? I think. He's Dutch. I'm not sure. I don't know. Either, I don't know bro. either. But I was super impressed with his acting skills. We did like a little skit since. Well, stuff. he's been in like movies, right? Hasn't yeah. He? Was it Here Comes the Boom? I don't know what else, but Here Comes the Boom. It was his like maybe big one with Kevin James. Yeah. It was like in theater. I'm pretty sure he won an Oscar. He didn't even ask for that? Yeah. Yeah. Did he get slapped? <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> That's crazy, man. How? What? That's crazy. Yeah, that that happened too. I know that was during the whole thing, which is why we did our slap video. But but it happened that weekend. That weekend, yeah. GSP was so hyped about that. He actually contacted uh, Dana White and said, "Make this fight happen." Chris Rock and Will Smith. How that would probably be the biggest fight of all time. Yeah. Not. I mean, for for entertainment. Yeah, of course, because. Different weight classes, but still. N- not only that, neither one of those guys have thrown a punch probably no. ever in their lives. I got to tell you, that slap was quick, though. Yeah, it was it deceiving. Too That's planned. what I you, you thought was planned. Well, planned? I mean, you can you can cons- conspiracy it. Yeah. People all have it like broken down, like frame by frame. Like, look, Chris Rock was wincing right before it happened, so he knew. My my own take on it is like number like first off, why was Will Smith allowed? It, Basically the obvious stuff. Why was he allowed up on the stage? Why did nothing happen after he got slapped? Why didn't Chris Rock would retaliate? Like me as a man, if I just got slapped, regardless 100%. if it's in front of people, I'm like doing something. Like security's got to be out there like holding me back. You but know that, what I'm but, but it also depends on where you came from, right? I don't think Chris Rock has ever thrown a punch in his life. He's, yeah, he's he's never really had to. I'm just right. saying though, you know, you don't, I, I don't know. You know, we come from a fighting family, and I know people that don't train, but they just have that personality of, you know, you you cross me, I will mess you up. Yeah. But Chris Rock just doesn't have that personality to do so. And, yeah. you know, for that to happen to you on national television and for you to be a, a host of the show, he kept us cool, like, the whole time. But yeah. he wins because he knew something was up. Like, when somebody's – Coming up on stage at you and not supposed to happen, mm-hmm. you know you're no, you you know he's coming up so there. So you believe it was real? I think I don't know. I, I I see both ways. I see how it could be a setup. It's already been. It's talking. already it's already been too long. Yeah, we've already been swayed from the y'all internet goons out there like breaking talking down. about. But like still. three weeks prior to that, there was a secret meeting that no one knew about. There was texts between. You know what I'm saying? Like, just whatever. For real? No, no, no. I just made that up. But that's that's the kind of stuff that people pop up on the internet saying, like, it was fake. Yeah. Conspiracy. It is. I mean, it's a good one. I mean, it brought eyes to the Oscars for sure. Yeah. But I thought it was more negatively than anything. Well, that's kind of like the whole Elon Musk thing, right? When he was announcing the Cybertruck. Like, it wasn't really interesting until he broke one of his indestructible windows. And then everybody was talking about the Cybertruck, and now that thing is, like, blown up through the roof. Yeah. So why would you want that if the window broke, if it was supposed to be indestructible? Like, Do you get people's does, eyes does it, on it? Yeah, but, okay, like, you want the truck because it's supposed to be indestructible, and now you realize it's not indestructible, so you want one? Or I don't know if you want one, but I don't know if it affects you immediately, but at least gets you to do your research. Yeah, and gets maybe you talking you, about it. Gets you thinking about it, and then you can you think stuff that was, up. You think that was planned, probably. I mean, it's made the Oscars blow up yeah. overnight, and nobody really cares about the Oscars anymore. No. I haven't watched the Oscars since like ever. I don't remember <laughs> the last time I watched the last time I watched the Oscars when when Jim Carrey came up there with that massive beard and nobody knew who he was. Remember that? <laughs> no, you don't remember that. Last time I watched the oh no, that was the Emmys, I think. Oh, that might have been the Emmys. No, no, no. I'm talking about when Will, Will Ferrell pretended to be Tiger Woods. Oh, yeah. what's up, everybody? I'm Tiger, <laughs> the greatest golfer. Uh, but that that might have been another one. Maybe that wasn't the Oscars, but I remember Jim Carrey just watching something similar to that because I don't watch anything of that kind of. Yeah, sports. I don't really care about like the he awards. Just, he came in with his massive beard, and nobody really because it was so 
out there. Nobody knew, recognized him. You know, <laughs> he's sitting there doing interviews and like, you're Jim Carrey? And he's yeah. like, yeah, dude. He like shows up on stage with like a cigarette or something like that. He's like totally acting out. It's yeah. hilarious. It's so freaking funny. But uh, yeah, that was, that was wild. But anyway, GSP literally contacted Dana Wise, like make this happen. Yeah, and right. then he goes in this whole spill, like, dude, wouldn't that be awesome? Like to have, you know, celebrities fight each other. Remember that was that, what was that thing on MTV celebrity death match? Yeah. I used to love that, that show. Rough. I know it was on all the time when I yeah. was a kid. Love that show, but it would be cool. And all the money would go to like. Dan uh, White. No. Yeah. Dan White. <laughs> <laughs> all the money would go to like a charity. I think that would be funny. Dan and White they Foundation. wear big gloves. Big kickbox yeah. gloves, you know, so they're not like getting cut and stuff. You couldn't do it under the UFC banner. No, it'd have to be have something to be. else, but I thought it'd be funny. How do we get into this? I mean, get oh, Tom Cruise slap. versus Brad Pitt. Come on now. Who's another action star that I could give? Keanu Bro. Reeves? No, no. The old classic Sylvester Stallone versus Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, they would just be out there. Just huffing and puffing, having heart attacks. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> let's just see who didn't But have Prime, a heart first. those guys... I'd have been crazy. I'd love to see that. Yeah, yeah I think Arnold would have won. You think so? Just because he's just strong. I don't think he, he may not have zero fighting experience, so. Yeah, but he's strong. But, you know, Sylvester Stallone did all that boxing, all those boxing Rockies. So, you know, you know, he probably knows how to box. Oh, yeah, true. You know? So, he's got like, what, yeah. 18 Rockies now? Yeah, I think they're on eight. I think now they're, they're just on Creed? Rocky, Rocky Twenty. Yeah, where he actually dies. Where he's like in a grave, still coaching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's buried under the gym, and they yeah. have to like, he's still like feeding them, feeding them energy. Yeah, but yeah, that, the past week it was fun. Great combat, cool stuff. I'm excited about it. I, I mean, I've heard about it, and I've seen things about it, but I'm really going to get into it now that you're a part of it. Check so. it out. Well, thanks, man. For those of you, for, for those of you fans that aren't familiar with it, check, sorry, man, I'm like messing my mic up over here. Sorry. Go check out Karate Combat. Um, it's it's basically sport karate, but full contact. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, no double legs, no wrestling, but you can sweep or you can catch legs and sweep and trip. You have mm -hmm. like five seconds of ground and pound. Right. So it's a pure action sport. There's no wrestling. There's no grappling downtime. It's purely like sweep, five seconds GMP, ground and pound, stand back up, right back at it again. Right. You're allowed to knock out. Yeah, so so you're allowed to knock your opponent out. And, and then the knockout percentages are at an all-time high because it's just a strictly stand-up. It's strictly striking. Yeah, and you have to In be, MMA gloves. You have to be a karate uh, practitioner or black belt to even compete. So – this is the first time ever that professional, well, there was no professional karate guys because there yeah. was no professional sport to go pro in. You know, you had to go either to kickboxing, which was my route, into, or into MMA, which you see, you know, the MVPs and my, uh, Michael Page Venom and, you know, Raymond Daniels Michael, and those guys. Michael Page Michael, Venom. Michael, Michael Page Venom Page, MVP. Michael Venom Page. Yeah, MVP. Yeah. MPV. Yeah, PMV. <laughs> PM what is PMV? So, I think it was a sexual transmitted disease. <laughs> oh, no, dude. <laughs> That's HPV. Right? Oh, <laughs> got you. I was going to say, well, I don't know. But uh, it was the, it's the first time that us karate guys can go into a professional fighting sport. You just for specific karate some. and make a living doing it. That's sweet, man. It is really cool. So first time ever. Um, so, yeah, so it's all long-range strikes. You can throw long uppercuts, long hooks. Um, no grab, but you can throw knees. Um, so you can, you're like flying knee into it, oh but you yeah. can't like clinch you can't work? Grab, can't clinch. Um, no kicks above the knee, but you can throw kicks below the knee because it, they want the action to stay long range. They mm -hmm. want to see they want to see the, the long range, the, the straight strikes, right? Mm -hmm. um, so the low calf kicks makes it, those kicks to be, you have to be a little bit farther out. Gotcha. You know? uh, but yes, yeah, so you have a, you can take downs, no double legs, but you can catch kicks, you can sweeps. Um, you have five seconds of ground and pound. You can sweeps. You can sweeps. Five seconds of ground. Cool, man. Yeah. I'm excited to really get into Check it, it out. Karate combat, ladies and gentlemen. And they do and, like seasons and stuff? Yeah, they have different seasons. Um, what's cool about it and what makes it different from everybody else is that they have a whole storyline leading up to the fight. So um, I think a few seasons ago, Boss Rutten is always getting lost somewhere. Like he got lost in the past. <laughs> <laughs> and and GSP had to go find him, which leads up to the fight, right? So the arena is built like the 80s, okay? And then he was lost in the future. So 
you know, they go through this whole spectacle of trying to find boss in the future. And it was the, the, the arena was kind of futuristic and now he's lost in the metaverse. Hmm. So we, it's, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. I'm not sure if I was allowed to say that, but I did. <laughs> Dang, dude. Uh, sorry, but, Adam. Yeah, man. Sorry Mr. That, Kovacs. Dude. But check it out. It's super sweet, man. Super cool. Is it Kovacs or Skovacs? It's, it's, I don't know how to pronounce it. He's, he's Hungarian. I'm hungry too. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, you're always thinking about food, dude. But I'm that's cool, well. man. I'm excited to be about it. Yeah. I'm excited to be, be in on it. Oh, I know. And you get to come, and, you and you get to come to something, dude. I know, dude. And you got the cool gloves, yeah. man, with the with the with the curvature design. Yeah, like it. That's cool stuff. Like it. I'm gonna take these, by the way. I appreciate oh, yeah, no, you. No problem. You can play more where that came from. Sweet yeah. tea. All right, cool. <laughs> but, Make uh, it send me some. Speaking of fights, too, we had fights this past weekend. Yeah. X MMA and the, the the Fillmore in Louisiana. There was something like 14 former UFC fighters. Yeah. Even UFC fighters that got released like last month, like like Jared Gooden. He, mm -hmm. I, mean, I feel like he was fighting for the UFC literally like five months ago. He was on this card. John Dodson was the main event again. Um, Cole Smith, who actually fought one of our guys. Yep. Um, uh, is it John Howard? Yeah, John, John Doomsday Howard, yeah. Howard yep. was that on that card. Big card and pretty cool event, man. It was like super. Uh, I mean, like I wouldn't say par with the UFC, but it was. It was pretty, pretty well produced. The production was awesome. Yeah, Gilbert Melendez is one of the commentators yep. and cage guys. So uh, really, really cool. We had Weston Wilson. You've seen him on the channel before. He's Weston? had some technical breakdowns. He was actually on the podcast a few weeks ago. He fought, did really well. First round guillotine, man. It was one of those, started out like this, but he ended up turning into one of those push guillotines. Put mm. him to sleep. Put him to sleep. Yeah, he did. It was like he got taken down, or he got the double leg, but he sunk the guillotine in. And then before the guy even was even able to Tap. try and get out, he was already asleep. Yeah, He, he was, didn't even he like realize he was being choked. He I've been on the other end of one of Weston's guillotines, and I can see how you would go out in like three seconds. Because when he gets on it, he's so long and lanky, he can just wrap your neck up so easy. And just the yeah. amount of leverage that this guy gets, it's ridiculous. And he's this guy has fought at 135. He's fought at 145, 155. He's fought at 170, and he's fought at 185. Well, he's got like a 6'1", 6'2", frame, right? Yeah, but yeah he's like 6'1". He, he likes to fight at 45, right? Yeah, that's, that's like his, his jam. His go-to. Uh, 35s, I think, is a little too much, but he can do it. He can't make that. And he was on vacation last week. He was at Islands of Adventure. He was at Harry Potter World. Oh, yeah, that's right, dude. Gone and comes in and just break. goes a first-round finish, which is awesome. Well, thank God for him because if it had gone out of the first, <laughs> he might have been struggling. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think that butterbeer, I give him some extra powers. Probably using that Harry Potter magic, bro. Yeah, dude. So we had we had Weston Wilson, one of our guys, fight, and we also had John uh, Sweeney, who's Hollywood. on the who's on the cusp. Actually, they both are on the cusp of US UFC them. Yes, UFC them. Yeah, Sweeney <laughs> looked good. He fought Cole Smith, mm -hmm. who had three fights in the UFC. He he won one and lost two, and then well, then was released by the promotion. Still a stud, a grinder yeah. in your face. He trains with dream. He, he trains now with Glory Kickboxing. I think is what what the Glory Glory MMA maybe James Krause's squad. Yeah, James Krause, and he is just a relentless go 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 machine. But he fought Sweeney man, and they had a fight. Came they at had a it, war, dude. Yeah, I, I believe that he won the first round. Came at Sweeney, and it was close first round. It was close, but I believe he he, he won pulled it round. out. The Sweeney, first round. second round, definitely all Sweeney. Almost knocked him out. Sweeney was all over. This guy staggered, and the guy was looking for the legs. When Sweeney puts those 135, well, he's not 135 pounds. See, one thing you got to understand about Sweeney, this is one of the guys that I don't understand how he does it. He he is he has potentially, you know, in the in the past walked around at 190, like my weight, and he fights at one 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 uh 135. He's a big 135er. Uh, he's, he's a thick he's 135. Thick. He's, he's thick. not tall. No. Which is probably why he's able to put on weight because he can shrink it back in. Yeah. He's got. A, he's very bulky. Um, so yeah. he's able to hold on to a lot more water in those muscles than, than you know, most people like myself. If you look at me now, you know, yeah. I look the exact same in the fight. But <clears throat> just after weighing, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but, but when you look at Sweeney, he's like kind of like that Tyron Woodley body frame. 
Yeah. You know, when yeah, I saw yeah. him at, at weigh-ins, I'm like, this guy doesn't look big at all. But then you saw, I saw him in the cage mm-hmm. the next day. I'm like, what did this guy eat? Sweeney's yeah. that type of body frame. But um, ended up pulling the third round out and yeah. ended up getting that nice W. Obviously, he was looking for a knockout. He wanted that crazy win, but sometimes it doesn't, you know, doesn't Cole's give you that tough. opportunity. Yeah. He was eating some shots, man. And Sweeney was going hard. And Sweeney's one of those high-explosive guys. So I was kind of concerned that maybe he would gas out a little bit because he was not able to put Cole away. Yeah. But he obviously showed his dog, man, and he grinded. He fought and ended up – defended a ton of takedowns, which is, in and of itself is tiring. Mm-hmm. But then in the third round was able to secure his own takedowns at the end of the fight when they're gassed. Man, I'm proud of him. Solidified he that win, awesome. man. Did all both of our guys. I, I was It was epic. Good night for Team Pitch Black for sure. 100%. Hundred percent. But let's real quick, man. Let's close out with UFC two seventy three coming up this weekend. Now, before we get to the breakdown, let's let yep. everybody know what we're going. What we're going to be doing this Saturday. Let them know, WB. Oh, you want me to let them know? Okay. You tell them. Well, this Saturday, me and Sweet T are going to be going live for the main card for UFC two seventy three. And we want you guys to join us. We're going to have a good time hanging out, hanging out with the fans, hanging out with you guys, breaking down the fights. It's going to be epic. Sweet Tea, we're going to be watching this at the at the old Rinse House, the theater room. Have, we haven't decided yet, but we're going to be live 100% for sure. Guaranteed, no questions asked. Going to be chilling with you guys. It's going to be fun. So join us this Saturday for the main card for UFC 273. Stacked card, Sweet Tea. Stacked. 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 Let's see who we got. Stacked. Just on the prelims, we got Mickey Gall returning. We got Jazina Rosenstruck fighting Marcin mm. Tabura. So Tabura is trying to. Uh, he's the guy that um, uh, Francis Ngannou just stormed across the cage against and knocked him out in yeah. like 13 yeah. and a half seconds. Yeah. So who's this guy that he's fighting? Marcin Tabura. He's, he's a tough. Uh, up and comer. Okay, striker, um, wrestler, kind of all mixes kind of more it all MMA. Well. Okay, got yep. you. You have the return of welterweight Ian Gary. Let's go, big Ian. He is the Irish. He's supposed to be the next Conor McGregor. Yes, undefeated Irishman. Yeah, he fought uh, about a month ago, two months ago. He he fought a little bit ago. He's a he's a huge favorite to win this fight against. Now, Darian what way Weeks. is he welterweight? Welterweight. Welterweight. Let's go. Yeah. Um, but he's supposed to be the next big Irish thing, the next big guy out of Ireland. Yeah. Um, so you know they're gonna they're gonna take Hype their time up. grooming. Yeah, they go. I mean, they go kind of like uh, the old, uh, you know, like my man Chase Hooper or uh, Sean, O'Malley. Uh, Sean O'Malley. They're gonna yeah. they're gonna let them win some fights. They gotta they gotta try and get Connor's fans to kind of. Switch over to switch that. over and allow this guy. To I don't build think it's up. gonna happen. Connor's just a different freaking level, guy, man. Yeah. That dude is just. Then of course you have Aspen Ladd taking on Raquel Pennington for the women's bantamweight bout. It was supposed to be, um, not supposed to be. It's it's just a stacked card from from top to bottom. Uh, so excited for that. But main main card. Let's go main card. Let's go main card. Now it was just recently announced that Kelvin Gastelum will actually not be on the card. He was Injury, supposed. Right? Yeah, he was supposed to fight. Oh snap! Who was he supposed to fight? Who was he supposed to fight, Sweetie? They oh, somebody who was who couldn't get their their visa to come fight. I know Who you got it, it in your sweet tea. Go for it. Yeah, Count I down got from it 10, in this 10, phone, bro. 9, 8, 7, I am compromised. 6, 4, 3, I don't know, dude. 2 and a half. Let's see. Yeah, keep going, bro. And 1 and 3 quarters. Yep. And 1. No, I'm just waiting, bro. I'm waiting. Oh, okay. For my phone to... He was supposed to fight... Oh, yeah, Nasser Dean Imamov. Okay. But he couldn't get a visa. Then Drakus Duplessis, who's a stud. How do you even know how to pronounce his name? I don't. I'm winging it. Jumped in. But then Kelvin released a statement basically saying he's injured. He's compromised. He's not 100%. And he wants to be 100% when he steps out there. Understandable. Yeah, yeah. Not to mention it's a huge fight card. Not to mention taking fights on last minute is always tough because you're training for a specific guy. 
And then another guy hops in there, and you're just kind of like, uh, and if you don't have a hundred percent confidence in yourself in the MMA world, then you're you're taking a big risk because MMA and the sport of it is so mental. If you have 100%. a shred of doubt, it's like well, you don't need to be stepping out there, buddy. Yeah. So Kelvin made the right decision. Good. You know, I mean, he said he's hurt, he's injured, but hey, now. Yeah, probably for sure. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, so that fight's not happening. Okay. But we do have Alexi Olenek taking on um, Jared Vandera. Vandera. Alexi Olenek, he's the dude that has like 60 submission wins. He's the one that always oh, finished people man. with the Ezekiel. Yeah. I think. Yeah, so he's, the, he's, a, he's a 205, right? Or is he a he- – Yeah, he's, he's a heavyweight. He's a heavyweight, yeah. 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 He, he finishes guys with that even when they're in mounted position. Like, like That's how he gets you. Yeah. He's got like a ridiculous amount of fights, right? Yeah, he's got like over 50 MMA fights or something like that. That's stupid. And he's in his 40s, I believe? <clears throat> like late 40s. No way. Look it up, dude. 46. I'm looking it up, bro. Look it up, sweet. No, no, no. I'm sorry. He's, he's His MMA record is 59 wins, 16 losses, and one draw. That's crazy, man. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. So how many fights is that? Do the adding, sweet tea. I got, you know, I can't. Uh, add. let's just do rough. 60 plus 16. You're looking at 76. So he's got like 75 fights. Yeah, that is a lot of MMA fights. A mm-hmm. lot of MMA fights. And how old is he? He's uh 32. No, Stop. I'm, I'm, about to say, I'm older than him. There's no uh, way. Dude. The boa constrictor. The boa constrictor. <laughs> 46 wins by submission, bro. Golly, probably the same. I guess if you're choke. just submitting everybody, you could fight 100 times. Yeah, not taking any damage. No. I don't know how old he is. <laughs> they don't we don't like know, a, guys. We don't know. They don't give like a, this is his age thing, so. Oh, well, Wikipedia, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shh, can't give away our secrets. Sorry, bro. sorry, 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 sorry. So I'm going for Ezekiel Choke, man. Hopefully he gets another Ezekiel. Of course, Jared Vandera, he did fight. Um, he I think he just beat. Uh, <laughs> Bulldog, mouthpiece. Been fighting oh, the UFC for forever. Uh, Arlovsky. Arlovsky, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he beat Arlovsky. He's only 44, Alexi is. Okay, but still, 44 is pretty, like, you know. Yeah. It's, it's not pretty, old because I'm there. right, you know, four years. And yeah. I'll be 44. Yep. So. Yeah, dude, right behind him. Good. I just start. I gotta just gotta start submitting people. Yeah. You know, not uh, taking any damage. I mean, my last two fights were all on the ground. I lost, yeah, so but just, I didn't take any damage. Yeah. So just start working on your submission game. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then we have Mackenzie Dern taking on Tisha Torres, striker versus grappler. Ooh, Dern. And who's the other one again? Tisha Torres. Torres. Tiny tornado. Yeah, she's the uh, striker. Yeah. yeah, she's like the Taekwondo black belt, uh, really good striker. I want to go for her. I, yeah. I saw her last fight, and she her take on defense was really good. It was on yeah. point. Um, I'm going to go for all Torres. Yeah, definitely. Who you got, Sweet Tea? It, I mean, it really depends if she can keep the fight standing or not. Obviously. If she can keep the fight standing for three rounds, then I'm taking yeah. Tornado as well. Yeah. To shoot Torres. I am too. But Mackenzie Dern, Mackenzie Dern ain't no joke. She's been nope. working on her jujitsu and her uh, Brazilian accent since she was born, bro. Yeah, she's yeah. I mean, when you've got a Brazilian accent, you're pretty much already born mm-hmm. a black belt. And she, that's like a newly acquired thing for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wish I spoke Portuguese. I told myself I was going to do she, that years ago. She's the one that remember she was like she was like born in California. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Like, I know. Gradually. <laughs> Okay. Next thing you know, she's like, yeah, like, she's like, like straight. She, she has like a translator out there. I don't know if you it's just true. Speak Ameri- you speak like you speak English. Like stop. <laughs> she had like a translator. I don't know if it's like true, but there's stuff out there on the internet talking about her evolution. Her, her <laughs> from her, from being from from, from talking like uh like normal American to now English. having to have a translator because yeah, she speaks like, Portuguese. <laughs> Can you like say it again. <laughs> like what was that? <laughs> What? So, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go for old Torres. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking Torres as well. And then next you have, which could arguably the main, be the main event of itself. Oh, I know, dude. I can't wait. Hamzat and Gilbert Burns. <sighs> oh, man. Oh, well, first off, you guys will probably see this before. 
Yeah. My breakdown of Hamzat, which I have a, uh, you know, fighter breakdown on Hamzat, history, strengths, powers, weaknesses. Go check that out. That's going to be posted up when? Wednesday. Wednesday. That's how we say it down here. Wednesday. Wednesday at noon p.m. Noon p.m. Eastern. Yeah. So, I'm just trying to just go ahead and tell them or no, just wait? Definitely not. Okay, I can't. Watch I can't. It. You have to subscribe now. You have to turn on yes. notifications so that you don't miss Wednesday's upload. Got to see it, guys. Got to see it. WB gives a breakdown on Hamzad and then gives you his pick of and, and the fight. Like, what I believe his main superpower is, and let me give you a hint, it's not his wrestling. Nope. She it's not his much. wrestling. So if you want to know what that is, yes, go check it out. It's going to be good up alone. Yeah, dude. I can't um, wait. So Gilbert, though. Gilbert's no joke, man. He's in, He's been in the top five for a, for a while now. He's had a really good run in the UFC. He man. has, dude, which I don't understand. You had mentioned earlier, like, he, at 155, he had two wins. Then he lost one. Got, got knocked, knocked out, by, out Dan Hooker. by Dan Hooker. And then was on a two-fight winning streak before he jumped up randomly to 170. Why, if he was doing so well at 155? I mean, obviously he was doing well at one, you know, at 170. But I wonder what was his thinking about that. Maybe he's just tired of losing, cutting the weight. Maybe. But and he, jumping up to a weight class where his buddy, his good old buddy Vicente Luque is at. And so, Usman. And Usman. They were all training together. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's just tired of cutting the weight. I mean, away. maybe it's somewhere out there. I don't have the info on why he decided to make the jump, but it wasn't like he was doing terrible. Yeah. Before he had lost to Dan Hooker, he was he had knocked out like th his three previous opponents. He like knocked them all out. Then he mm -hmm. lost to Dan. And then he won two more in a row. He's only lost four fights. Wow. Dan Hooker, two more at lightweight. I'm not sure who. And then of course the Usman. Usman's. <clears throat> That's it. Yeah. Wow. So it's not like he was dying down there at. 55. No. But I, I, I do believe that this is going to be Hamzad's greatest uh, challenge yeah. today. 100%, 100%. Or it could not be. <laughs> or he could just go out there and just do whatever he does. At the end everybody. of the day, it's going to be his toughest test. Yeah, it's got to be. Whatever he does is. Gilbert's got power. I mean, I know. I felt his strength. He's got good takedowns as well. He's very strong, short, compacted, which I think that could be a disadvantage. Um. Because you know we all I mean you look at Hamzad he's big, but um, you know he's got he's a high level jujitsu practitioner, he's been knocking guys out, so you see where how this could be uh, potentially tough for Hamzad. But the question is, like we mentioned in earlier with Kelvin, what kind of mindset does Gilbert have? I mean you have to he has to sift through the constant talking of how monstrous Hamza Chemaev is. And Not just from the fans, focused. but from other fighters that have been everybody, training with him. Everybody in the history of everyone is talking about how vicious Hamza is. He has to stay mentally composed enough to sift through all of that chatter and stick to his own game plan. It's very easy to hear all that, then get out into the cage and not do what you're good at in fear of what they're good at because you're right. like, oh, crap, like when's it coming? He has to completely block that out and then just Impose do his, his deal. Yeah, But, I mean, he wants to be known as one of the best, and he's one of the few guys that wanted to face off against Hamzai who was in the top. So hats off to my man Gilbert Burns for going out there. Dude, he does go out there and beat him. He's going to blow up. Mm -hmm. He's going to blow up. Mm -hmm. Probably next title shot. After, you know, Leon, Leon Edwards. Yeah. yeah. Leon Edwards. Yeah. But they're it, all going to have to wait if Connor comes back and fights. Oh, Uzman. yeah, dude. Like, what? Come on, bro. Be about to get toe up. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, you never know. You might let that, let, land that left yeah, hand. Dude. <laughs> Shoot. There's always an if, man. There's always yeah. like a MMA possibility. Never, ever cut and dry. Golly. So it makes it like crazy. I know, dude. Crazy. One little thing. One just One click. And Nick. One boop. And you're, you fall head you're hitting that snooze the cruise. Over top and just punch you in the thick, like, Two more times as hard as possible, yeah. even though you're already unconscious. Yeah. 
things. Thanks a lot, Anthony. I was I was hoping that you would have woken up on the second one and, been and like, just fine. finished finished the fight. Yeah. yeah. No, it didn't happen. No, it didn't happen. <laughs> Not only did it hit, like I got hit like three, I uh, like four other times. So I got hit, my head hits the canvas, boof, boof, then two more strikes. Boof, boof, boof. So you just you you had like sixteen fights in that one. <laughs> yeah, dude. In that one sequence. Yeah. Just added like sixteen fights to your career. Yeah. I, and I, and there has been many times where, like, I'll be doing something, and then I wake up. Thinking, you know, it's five minutes, but two days have passed, and I don't know where I'm at. Don't say that. You know what I mean? I don't <laughs> that's know where not, I'm at. That's not true. Everybody be, else around be. me is dead. You know, it's just I just killed. Don't just, be. <laughs> no, no, but I, I watched the first episode of Moon Knight. Oh, so gosh, it just yeah. kind of brought that back. You know, yeah. him just waking up somewhere. No, else I mean, not people knowing be like, "Hey, Dana, WB's having blackouts. You need to uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. release them." I'm kidding, guys. Joking, joking, joking. He's just joshing. I'm joshing you. All right, let's see what we got, dude. Next up. <laughs> Aljamain Sterling, Piotr Jan. Woo, Piotr. P Piotr. Yeah. Piotr. Isn't that his name? Is it Piotr? It's Peter. I don't know, dude. It's Peter Jan. I thought it was Petter. No, I don't think it's, I think it's Peter. I think it's pronounced Peter. Okay. Petray. Oh, man. I would love to see my man, the Funk Master Fresh, win it. But as dominant as Peter Yan has been lately, well, I mean, I mean, y'all have seen it. I don't know about lately, but his last fights, so he's been crushing people. And the first fight is like, all right. Like, I hope that he puts out the same pace as he did last time, but Dude, able to keep up. The pace that Aljo was putting on was just Stupid. like for the first three rounds was. I would have I would have been done in twenty minutes at with, with that kind of pace. The guy, I mean, he's well, that's got a exactly gas tank. What he was, he was done in twenty minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was kicking, punching, take down, back up, just kicking. Just the pace that Aldo put out. I'm I'm hoping he's able to keep up stamina wise. This time, this go around. Because if he does, I think he would just tire him out. He would just, Peter would just fall over, passed out, Mm because he's just too tired to keep up with that base. But uh, we'll see. I don't know. I would love to see Funkmaster Fresh, you know, retain the title, keep the title. And zero illegal techniques out there. Yeah. I'm I'm picking Aljo, man. Like, I just don't. Gotta see it. Mm Mm-hmm. I love, I love Aljo. You man, know, team law not, MMA. You just can't not pick. Can't pick. Can't not pick him. Can't you know not pick mean? him. That's right. Funk Master They're Fresh. They're both great fighters. Him. You know, Aljo's long. He's unorthodox. If he can keep him at the end, maybe even use his jiu-jitsu because he's got really slick skills, he obviously. Does. He submitted Corey Sanhagen in like 42 seconds. Crazy. Um. And he's yeah, but but Peter's crisp as well. His good hands, boxer, take good wrestler, is really good. So it's gonna be an it's gonna be a good one. Yeah, and they've been talking mad trash. Ooh, they're really Nothing been the hype to fight it. up with some mad know, trash dude. talking. I know. I don't know if you saw Aljo's last post. I think MMA um, fighting where he's doing yeah, the MMA yeah, rule book. He has thing. Like a rule book. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was funny. I know, man. They've been going hard for like yeah. ten years. I feel like yeah. I can't wait to see it. That's going to be it's great. Gonna be Let's go, out. 273 is fire. Then, of course, the main event of the evening, you got a Korean Zombie taking on Alex Volkanovsky for the title as well. Yeah. WB, who do you have winning? Volkanovsky is who I got winning. Why? I'm taking the Zombomb. Really? Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, Zombie's good and all that, but Volkanovsky, I think he's fought... Max Holloway, what beat him twice? Brian Ortega. Brian Ortega, and it. I mean, some of those were controversial. I don't think the Ortega was controversial, but the the Max Holloways were kind of controversial. Could have gone either way, but I think Vol- Volkanovski, his, his striking, uh, his wrestling, his jujitsu defense. Remember when uh, Ortega, just his complete willpower to not get choked out and tap. Yeah. When mo- oh my god, I was like, and he couldn't move. 
It was like, what is going on? How is he surviving that right now? Yeah. Because he's got like a, a, a guillotine from heck, H E double hockey sticks. Beep. Thanks, sweet dude. You're welcome. Uh, but I got my man Volkanovsky. I'm taking Korean zombie. You think he's gonna? You think he's gonna twist minutes minutes and let me finish my statement <laughs> before Sorry. you interrupt me. Sorry. I'm taking Korean zombie at the two minutes and seventy second mark with via twister. Mm. He's the one of the few guys to finish some people with the twister. I think he was the first UFC fighter ever to finish somebody with the twister. Mm -hmm. So, man, that's pretty cool. I think Volkanovski is going to duck, elbow, knock him out. Mm. <laughs> Dang, bro. That's dirty, man. I'm sorry, dude. Well, I mean, they probably say the same thing about me getting knocked out. So Yeah. Like, oh, you're going to get Superman dunk. punched. Yeah, dude. Or you're just going to get picked up and taken down. You know, laid on, can't get up. <laughs> All right, enough, enough. <laughs> sorry. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Sorry, dude. So UFC 273 is a huge card. Huge, huge. Main event. That was the main event. That was the main event. Yeah. I thought there was two title shots on There line. was. Aljo and Peter. Oh, that's right. And then that's Vulcan right. and Zombie. Sorry. Well, well, I'm excited. Me too. I don't know. I just wasn't thinking that was a title fight for some reason. That's Because okay. it's not like, you know, the Peter Yon and Aljo is like, I mean, you're, they're just not talked about a lot. Yeah, because everybody's talking about Hamzat and Burns. Exactly. Exactly. That's a crazy fight. That's obviously the one that I'm most excited about. Well, let's stop. Let, stop right there. I'm excited about that one too, probably because they both these guys are my weight class. Mm -hmm. uh, but we can't be. We gotta let them see the other video. Yeah, it's it, it's just gonna be good. It just keeps the division rolling. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I think it, I think if Hamzat wins, he will yeah. definitely get the shot after Leon Edwards. Yeah. He will definitely get a shot. Yeah, just because like, after yeah. how many fights has he had in the UFC? Four? Four or five. Four or five uh, fights. So like a I record. think this is his fifth fight. That's gotta be a record. To One, the title shot. Two, two, three. Yeah, this is his fifth. No, I think Chris was about the same. Wyman? Chris only had like four or five fights before wow. he fought for the belt. Okay. UFC. Maybe wise. maybe maybe it was because the champions were so dominant that they just had to keep pushing guys up. Right? Yeah, and Chris was finishing everybody. Yeah. And he had that spectacular he was finishing Mark everybody. Mark Munoz, dude. I mean that Damian elbow. Maya. Um what's that guy that he beat uh, he beat Damian Maya on like a two weeks notice. Yeah. He had to cut thirty pounds in oh, two weeks. That's crazy. Went out there and beat Damian freaking Maya, dude. Bruh. Chris After was, that fight, Damian was like, All right, I'm gonna go to one seventy. Yeah, he's like, dude, this sucks. <laughs> Hang on, let me let me just check Chris's. See how many fights he had. All right. Hey, you do that. Where he fought for the belt. Uh. Nothing. No, no, no. I'm I'm getting there. I'm just waiting on everything to. Okay. To get pulled up here, to get pulled out here. He was the North American champion in in Abu Dhabi. That's nuts, bro. Who? Chris, he won gold in ADCC North American Championships, Los Angeles, After like 2009. a year of jiu-jitsu, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like a year of jiu-jitsu. This is crazy about those wrestlers moving over to, like, to jiu-jitsu. They just... Let's see. He fought one, two, three, four, five. It was his... He, he, yeah, he won five, yep. and then his sixth fight, he fought for the belt. There you go. Gonna be but he right finished there. all of them. Except for... He actually didn't finish Alessio Sakara. But he finished Jesse Bongfelt, Tom Lawler, Damian Maya, Mark. He didn't finish Damian, but Mark Munoz, KO, and then he fought Anderson. Gotcha. And knocked out Anderson. And then, yep. Wow. So he'll be on par with that. Yeah. But we're excited, man. That's why we're going live this weekend. UFC 273 right here on the channel. We're going to be doing commentary, answering y'all's questions, hanging out with y'all, chit-chatting, chat-chitting, having a great time for an epic fight card. Come hang out with us, man. Please. It's going to be fun. Completely free of charge. Just yeah, subscribe. Bro. All I ask you to do is just like the videos and subscribe. And you're that's our, that's enough payment for us. You're in. You're in. You're in the club if so, you do that. Yeah. We have our own club. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Thanks, guys, for coming to hang out. Uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Sweet tea. Let them know what they got to do after, the, after they hit subscribe. So you want me to start? We want me to pick up where you left off subscribe. Yeah. So subscribe and then I go. Yeah. Hit the like button. Ring the notification bell so that you do not miss an upload. And do not forget to spread the word 
If you don't like watching video podcasts, I get it. We are also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Check us out there. Give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. Come hang out with us. Tell your friends about him, grandma, him, 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 him,